friends, happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 18th, and I want to welcome you to the vlog. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling like my usual self. Um, I'm having a really high pain day, and I haven't had one of these out of the blue in a while. Usually I can kind of like predict when they're coming on. Um, anyone with chronic pain usually has like little indicators, and I definitely do, but this one's kind of out of nowhere. So I'm really struggling with it. Um, but I wanted to welcome you to the vlog and hopefully the rest of the week I'm a little bit more myself again. Although this is who I am also. So I want to be clear that like I'm also someone who struggles with chronic pain and chronic illness. Um, and that's every bit of part of me as like the more fun smiley side is. But hopefully you can get to a more fun, smiley, excited part of me and that part of the vlog takes over. So the vlog went live like an hour ago and I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who watches it when it first comes out. I really try not to look at views anymore um, in any capacity on any platforms. Like that's just not what I'm after anymore. But um, I do appreciate hearing how much you're enjoying it or things about your life too. Anyways, I'm going to put this um, new bird feeder together because it's sitting on my chair. And so if I want to sit on here, I need to get it built. I was trying to vlog outside and it kept shutting off. And so the only thing I can think of, it, <laughs> Mike and my hair, hello. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that it was too hot outside. So I guess we're not building the bird feeder right now. <laughs> the universe has very special ways of showing you your limitations. And so I guess my body just hurts too bad right now. And the universe said, mm -mm. or if you don't believe in that, um, it's Florida and it's hot. So I've been thinking about maybe doing something where I draw a tarot card in the beginning of the month or the week just to kind of see what the mood's gonna be. So let's go do that together. These are not all my decks. Um, these are just the decks I have in my bedroom. I think I am going to make a tarot and oracle deck collection video. I just haven't really been reading tarot or oracle recently, and so it kind of felt strange, but I'm getting back into it, and it's one of my favorite divination tools. So in the collection in my bedroom, I'm torn between the cat tarot down here and the villains tarot. Um, I'm leaning towards the villains because I'm a little bit grumpy right now and it seems like it'd be fun. My hair is a little crazy because I didn't blow dry it last night. So you're kind of just dealing with this right now. Um, I know it's like, uh, it's a little crazy, but so am I. Anyways, <laughs> this is the villains tarot deck, the Disney villains tarot deck and it's illustrated by Ellie Goldwine. I've been thinking about different ways to incorporate um, my spiritual practice into a vlog without like shoving it down your throat because I know some people just aren't into it, but it's such a big part of my life that I just wanna start sharing it with you. So here is the guidebook. This is just a really cute deck and I figure that it's more of a gentle introduction into tarot. So when you have things that you recognize, like Hades on the death card, um, it just makes things a little bit more fun. And tarot doesn't have to be super serious. Obviously, we should be respectful, but I wanna find some of these. Hold on, look at the Empress. Did I review this on here? I think I feel like I have, ooh, the Magician. That one's cute. How's your water? You didn't think you were gonna get away from me. Welcome to my very professional setup. Actually, hold on. I got an instance order that I've been meaning to unpackage with y'all for a week. So let's do that before we start. 
It's from my favorite brand, the only one I ever buy from, Good Earth Mercantile. I will put their information down below. Not sponsored, but um, this is the only place I buy my incense from anymore. So, my all-time favorite incense of all time ever created, period, is Library. Um, it's incredible. I love it. So I got 40 of them. And I got the long ones. So 40 of the long library ones. Got this chakra hold, incense holder. Use it for the cones. It's beautiful. I love it. I've been learning a lot about energy centers and how they affect you. I've been reading a lot of books about that. I know I've talked about Body Keeps the Score, but I'm almost finished reading um, When the Body Says No by Gabi Ma Gabor Mate. Gabor Mate, I was right. It's a little bit different, but I'm getting a lot of useful information out of it. But it's another medical professional talking about how trauma and how early childhood development and early childhood trauma can really affect um, your health as an adult and can really affect your body in ways that really is not recognized. I'm going off on tangents, but anyways. All right, let's keep going. I also got, I think my medicine's kicking in. All right, I'm feeling less hurdy. Blue agave, uh, another, oh, those are 15 of the long ones. And I got balsam fir, and I got 15 of those. I've never smelled this one before, but it was going out of stock. And like, can you go wrong with balsam fir? It's like Christmas, right? Oh, this is my second favorite scent of all time ever created. And it's After the Rain. And I got a 30 count of those. I got them in the biggest size they were available in, basically. So After the Rain comes in 30, but I think Library only comes in 20. I don't know why they do that. I got a few of these. This is a sample, which I get a lot of samples from them. This is A Dream Within a Dream. Mm, I love it. And this is Smoky Quartz. I ordered this one. Oh, I love the way this one smells. I have a lot of memory associated with scents, as we've talked about. So I love finding new scents to burn. Here's another sample, Northern Lights. Ooh, that smells like cologne, like sexy cologne. All right, um, I ordered Rosemary Mint, mainly for the spiritual properties of rosemary and mint, but also because, yeah, that smells delicious. You can't go wrong. And then all the rest of these are samples. I probably should have done all the samples together, but you get the idea. Okay, so the samples are Fawn, I don't know this one, Re something? Fairy Woods, oh, that one smells good. And Persephone, which I love Persephone. Mm, it's really yummy. And then we have some cone samples, Devious. Oh, I know what this one is. The one that was messed up is Requiem. Requiem, yeah, that was right. Why, are, why do words sound funny? Um, rose Quartz, which we know that I love. This one reminds me of Love Spell. Have I said that before? I feel like I have. Anyways, this one literally smells like Victoria's Secret Love Spell. And if you were a teenager in the 2000s like I was, then you just bathed in this shit. It was so good. Roses are red. Ooh, I like that one actually. An orange patchouli, which one member of my family despises patchouli. And so it's actually the one scent I don't bring into my house because it's that much of a hate. And I try and be really respectful of that. But this one really doesn't smell like patchouli, so I probably will burn it and it'll be fine. So that is my little incense haul. We should do more stream of consciousness vlogs because usually in my vlogs, I'm trying to be like the most effective with my wording, but um, sometimes I just wanna talk. This actually does have like a little bit of a 
villain scent. This is Requiem. Oh yeah, good luck getting this lit. Why don't I have a lighter in here? Wouldn't that, okay, you know what, fuck off. Swing, swing. Why am I freaking singing like I'm the, what if we get Cinderella? Cinderella villains are Anastasia and Drizella, the evil stepmother. Okay, you're going back down. Welcome back. Okay, just a little short intermission there. Let me shuffle our cards and we'll get back into business. Let you see our little baby over here. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, that was not scripted. That is really strange. Anyways, um, I wanna cosplay her, okay? So all weeks will not be like this. Uh, most weeks I will have my shit together. Or I won't, you know, you never know. I'm not a professional card shuffler, so don't come for me. So we, this is for the kind of week that we're gonna have this week. The two of wands. These are so cute, I love reading. Okay, I can, you can come up now. Especially when they're like novelty decks like this. I love to read the guidebook more because it always has cute little hidden gems in it. And so our card for the week is the Two of Wands. And it says, you're being presented with a decision. As this is a card of the wand suit, this decision involves travel, creativity, or ambition. The Two of Wands is a positive card, letting you know each option in front of you has its own merits. Whether you decide to take on a master wizard in a duel, explore the markets of Agrabah, or make a bargain with a sea witch, you're sure to have a worthwhile adventure. It's very cute. This is our card for the week. Let me know if you like it. Look how cute I am. I don't know where I got this from. Anthropology? I think it was stupid expensive and not worth it, but I actually got this before I had Luna and Hades. going to go get those plants today that I talked about last week um, for the butterfly garden at my kids school so I'm just gonna get a little ready nothing serious but I didn't get ready yesterday and I found that if I take a few minutes just to do my hair and my like a, a little bit of makeup in the morning I feel better throughout the day. Plus, then it incorporates putting on my sunscreen, and so it all sort of just becomes a thing together. I will be... All right, I'll be right back, and I will look slightly um, more put together than I do right now. Ready? All right, slightly better. Let's uh, let's go do this.
All right, so I'm back from dropping off everything at my kid's school. I ended up getting gloves and trash bags also. Um, so that's done. And I'm in desperate need of moving my body. It is really nice outside. So I thought about doing yoga outside, but um, my mat is pretty thin to do yoga like on the grass. So I'm gonna have to think about that. And I don't think it would be comfortable on the concrete. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow. Today I want to do something different. So I'm going to try something that I've really wanted to do for a while. And that is like a fitness dance um, app or class or whatever. So I ended up with a free trial to Naughty Girl Fitness. I love the idea of like dancing sexy and also getting a really good workout. So. I'm gonna try it. So I downloaded the app and I'm gonna pick one and we'll see what happens. iPad because uh, it's gonna be a lot bigger. Anyways, this routine is called raunchy shit, so that's gonna be fun. It didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to in terms of filming because there's a lot of movements that are up and down and I don't have a wide angle lens on this camera anymore so I don't know how I need to position you so that you can see me do all of it but anyways I am going to try and record some of those probably not for here probably for other websites because it's a little naughty <laughs> but maybe I could give you a little bit of a taste on here and we'll just have the full one elsewhere. If you hear a humming in the background, I have my dehydrator on. Um, I'm dehydrating some blueberries and some other things, but I have about an hour until I have to go get the girls from Earth Care Club, so I'm going to prep dinner before I leave so that when I come home I can just go out on the grill and get it taken care of. So I think I'll do hamburgers and hot dogs for the family, and then for me I'm just going to do a bunch of veggies.
keep thinking that I need to refilm what I'm saying here. And I think in doing so, it's creating a disingenuous um, script or dialogue. That's a better word. Uh, it's creating a, it's just not how I want to go about it. So I'm going to, this is the take that I'm doing. Um, and I'm not going to retake it in order to add or anything. We're just going to have a flow of consciousness. Okay. <clears throat> Happy Thursday. I did not film at all yesterday because one of my kids was sick throughout the night, so they needed me. And I know that I've said this before, but I don't operate well on like less than six or seven hours of sleep. My sleep is very precious to me now. <laughs> um, I, I did the thing where I only slept like one or two hours or three hours a night, and I don't want to go back there. I'm good. So <laughs> yesterday was really like a rest day for me. I stayed in my pajamas the entire day, and then I showered and put new pajamas on, and I haven't done that in a while, and that's okay. Some days are just gonna be like that. Um, my pain is also a lot higher because I've been more active, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that I'm noticing within my body, and so I'm trying to really like honor that and recognize, like, okay, I need to push myself, but not take it so far that I'm completely out of commission for like a week, right? And that's really difficult to do with chronic pain. It's really hard. So I'm kind of balancing that tightrope right now. I've been in my life, and it's something that I really recognized <laughs> last week, and I brought it up to my therapist. So I'm at a point in therapy now. I've been in therapy for a few years, and I talk about it so much because I remember wondering what therapy was like, but being nervous and not having this sort of information from people saying like, oh, well, this is what me and my therapist talk about, and this is how it is. Especially with like what I do for a living, I think it's important to talk about how therapists um, react to certain situations. I was very upfront with her when I started, saying like, hey, this is what I do, and if you're not cool with it, that's fine, but I need to know now because I don't want to waste either of our time. And she's been amazing and incredible. So in therapy now that I am still processing my grief and I will always process my grief, um, in some weeks that's all I talk about, I have been able to uncover other things that I've really needed to talk to someone about. And so one of these things is my habits and why I pick up and do certain things. And that's really been a focus for me lately is like this really deep self-exploration. And it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to sit and analyze why you do the things the way that you do them. And it's been really rough, um, but very enlightening. And I think that's necessary for me to grow as a person is to see sort of all of these things, whether it's like the light or the dark and getting to a place where I can understand and recognize them. And so one of the things that I recognize that I do is I never finish books and I never finish TV shows. A great example of that is I think on my Goodreads account, I have like 17 books that I'm in the process of reading and I really am, like I really am reading those books. Um, but anytime I get close to the end, I never quite finish. And I think the last book I actually finished was Mariah Carey's memoir, which is like not surprising, right? Um, I just don't ever finish books. I get to the end and then I stop because I don't want it to end. Um, and I do the same thing with shows. I'm re-watching uh, the Sabrina the Teenage Witch that I grew up with and I'm at the very end and I don't want to finish it out. And so I brought that up in therapy. Like why do I get so close but I never actually complete the thing? I'm like, I have no idea why. And she's like, really? You, you have no idea? It's like, oh yeah, it's my trauma. So <laughs> um, I recognize that about myself and it's something that I want to improve upon because all it does is create frustration down the line for me. A great example of these things. Here we go. Um, my family's been out of peanut butter for four days. I make our peanut butter now because it's so much easier for me. It has literally one single ingredient. Um, yeah, so I love making our peanut butter and it's fun for me. But we've been out for four days and my family heavily relies on peanut butter. 
So it's not like it's been like, oh, it's four days and no one notices. Nope, it's been four days and every day I'm like, okay, I gotta make peanut butter today and I never do. It takes me five minutes. Um, another example, I have a Halloween, no, I have a fall and a Christmas welcome mat in the front. Why couldn't I have just picked up the fall one? Just so much easier, right? Another great example, when I was cleaning up Easter, which I did here, um, that stupid little chick that's been floating around, the one that's from the fall, it takes me five seconds to walk into my garage, find the bin that says fall, because don't worry, I have custom shelving in there, and I set it up exactly how I wanted it to be. Why am I not utilizing that system? Why is my office space not cleaned? I've been saying for months now, like, okay, I need to clean my office. My closet in there has been completely non-functional since I returned to work. So coming up on three years or two years, coming up on a very long time, many months, in fact. Why are these things not being accomplished? Because I stop myself from doing them. So now that I recognize that it's something that I do, I'm gonna work on it. That was very long-winded, but thanks for being here, and I hope you uh, enjoyed. Say hello. Good morning, happy Friday, and happy Earth Day. It is about 11.20 on Friday, April 22nd. Can you hear me? I don't know. And um, I spent this morning out um, with the earth and I planted a few things and I looked in on the new shipment of worms that I received yesterday and they look really good. So I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm putting you down now, but I love you. I've been craving zebra cakes, like the little Debbie snack cakes, 
And that's something that I no longer buy because they are a huge trigger for me and my eating disorder. I grew up on them, so it's not really great to have them around. It doesn't really feel good, but I'm craving the feeling of it and, and I love sweets. So I looked online for a plant-based recipe and of course I found one. So I'm going to make this right now. And while that's cooking and doing everything, my goal is to go and start on my office, which we know I've been putting off forever. Before I start on the recipe, there are a few things I wanna show you that I'm using. I'm using the Silk Next Milk. They also have a 2% version, but this is the whole fat version. And this is just oat milk and coconut milk and other dairy-free, gluten-free, carrageenan-free milks put together. And it works extremely well in baking. It basically, completely mimics how whole fat operates, functions in a baking recipe. And I think I've talked about the Country Crock plant-based butter before, um, but this is my favorite butter to bake with, also to cook with, but definitely to bake with. Um, I love baking with sticks, and so having a plant-based stick butter has been extremely helpful. I set out all my ingredients very cute, and so hopefully I can give you a fun little cooking section here um, without fumbling through it too much. And if they turn out good, then you're invited to have one. But the goal is to make them and then freeze them so that when I'm craving something sweet, I can just go to my freezer and grab it. Okay, let's go. They're not very cute, and I don't think they're gonna be great, but honestly, it's fine. The bottom is sticking a little bit, but okay. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it's pretty good. It kind of hits the spot. It's ugly, <laughs> but that's okay. Mm. Very careful this week because this top is a little bit more revealing than the past few weeks. Hey favorites, happy Friday and welcome to the weekly wrap up. As always, I would love to hear your highs and lows down below in the comment section if you feel like sharing. Um, I love reading all of your comments and it helps to share with people. So I'd love to hear about you and your week. Overall, I think my week was 
pretty decent actually, all things considered. Um, besides my lack of sleep, I have been really hard on myself again recently, which is something I haven't struggled with in a while, but I'm cognizant of it. So the first step is figuring out that there's an issue. And so now I can sort of work on being less hard on myself. One thing I've noticed a lot this week is I've been retaking shots to say things over again. And that could be because I'm taking a speech class right now. I hope it doesn't come across that way in the vlogs. I hope it still feels really natural because my goal is not to create like a perfect vlog or like to give you this unrealistic idea or expectation of who I am as a person. I would rather fumble through a few things or struggle to come up with words and be authentic than worry about always seeming like I have my shit together because all of the things I talk about, I'm just talking about them. I don't ever have a script. I don't usually even have an idea of what I'm gonna say. It just kind of happens. Other than that, I feel really good. I feel really strong physically. Mentally, I'm fairly strong, <laughs> a little bit less strong than um, physically. And yeah, I'm just having a really good time taking everything one step at a time and day by day and really finding so much joy in these tiny little moments that we have throughout every day. Office clean, are we surprised? No. However, I do have therapy tomorrow at one and it is my day off, so I should probably come in here and tackle at least some of this. There will be a day when I'm going to come on here and be like, you will not believe what we have done. Ha! Today's not that day, though. <laughs> Thank you for all of your love, your support, and your encouragement. It means a lot to me. And I think I am going to start streaming on Twitch again. All of the links to my social media are down below in the description box. And it would mean a lot to me if you followed me elsewhere, if you don't already. And I think that's all I have for you this week. I love you very much. You are amazing. Please continue being kind to yourself. Don't forget to hydrate, wear your sunscreen, and um, I'll see you again very soon. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha Why? I'm a person, and okay. Um, that's something an alien would say, by the way. Ha! <laughs> Look at my new rug. Dee dee dee. Dee dee dee. Dee dee dee. Thank you. Yes, quite. Thank you.